Only 90s kids will remember. Only 90s kids will ever remember. 90s kids remember everything. They remember the birth of the universe. They remember humanity's greatest downfalls. They remember things that have not happened, things that might never happen. They can see the death of everything. All of these vivid memories will haunt them forever. Will the 90s kids ever be able to forget? The 90s! Wow! What a... Wow! What a time we had arcades and Nintendo 64 and the paper, the design that was on all the paper cups. It's a 90s baby thing. I was born in the 2000s and literally experienced the same exact thing. Yeah, like the parachute, the projector, the little scooters, the mats. This is all just schools aren't buying new sh- Ooh. Sorry. Kids today would never understand this. 8 a.m. 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah, you never have those days where you don't use your phone and then you check it. You're like, whoa. Barely need to charge this bad boy. <laughs> yes! Oh my- Okay, I found it. All right. Back in my day, we didn't have games on our cell phones. I had to just find this screen cap of this game to prove it exists. It was called Bounce. You guys remember Bounce? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know my demographic anymore. This is life changing. Hashtag school. Hashtag students. Hashtag life hack. 2000s babies think they invented this, LMAO. No, they don't. No one said that. This is a million times more convenient than running headphones through your sleeve. Like we did in the old days, back in the old country. <laughs> back when we... We'd make a 15-mile pilgrimage to the nearest 7-Eleven. You can't wear the title environmentalist and not be vegan. You can't wear the title feminist and not be vegan. You can't wear the title animal lover and not be vegan. Well, you can, but you also have to wear the title hypocrite. You can't represent all vegans when you look like garbage. <laughs> Seriously, like, this dude has my body, and I'm not vegan. I'm... depressed. Don't tell me you read a book series when you really listened to it. Audiobooks are not books. Don't tell me you read all of A Song of Ice and Fire when you really had it read to you while you did your laundry. You don't get those points. But they're so long, uh, and reading makes me sleepy, uh. <laughs> the next guy that complains about his back hurting from his desk job is getting dick slapped. It's a lot of homoerotic subtext going on here for this manly man pose. That guy looks kind of comfy, honestly. Like, this dude's leaning farther back than most desk chairs. He's doing the PewDiePie right now. Yeah, sex is cool, but... Have you ever put on normal shoes after skiing? Ooh. This is the kind of joke people who have been skiing twice in their entire lives find funny. And that's coming from Chadworth Skeethington III. My father invented skiing and owns several mountains across the world. No snowboarders allowed. Dirty, dirty snowboarder. Sorry for your loss, and I wish you well. But come speak to me when you have kids and lose them. Are you gatekeeping being sad? No dead kids? I don't want to hear it. Mm -mm. Oh, your kid actually did die. Crazy, right? Like the saddest thing. Every gamer's reaction upon finding a blood-covered room. Well, that's not good. I am pretty sure that is not exclusive just to gamers. If you had a C-section, congratulations, you failed as a mother before the baby even came out. Real mothers push through it all. I'm having a baby while I'm making this status. Oh. A messy room is like a physical manifestation of your depression. And when you clean your room, you're still depressed, but with a clean room. How depressed are you if you manage to clean your room? Are you gatekeeping being sad? Guys who drive automatic. My car is automatic. 
Guys who drive manual. I will never drive an automatic because I'm a real driver and I'm one with the machine. After I drive, I put the shifter in my ass because me and my machine are one. I thought this had to be Photoshop, but I googled it and it was it's real and it's recent. Halloween rules. Trick or treaters over 12 years old. Misdemeanor. Fine $25 to $100 and or jail up to six months. 13, what are you, 13? You're going to jail. I guess it's trick for you, motherfucker. Welcome to the real world. Get him in the car. He's the big one three. I heard he just turned this year. Ah. Makes me sick. Progressive males are not men. They move and gesticulate like women. The hand over mouth gesture is one example. Physically repulsive. Conservatives get offended by the weirdest shit. Imagine masculinity so fragile that you can't even touch your own face. Goes to touch his face. <gasps> no, I can't. If I touch my face, the libtards win. Jean-Luigi Buffon has spoken out about his battles with depression. Having everything and you saying you are depressed? Please. Visit Africa and see our situation. You are not depressed, but rude. Are you gatekeeper? Yeah, fuck are you, Jean-Luigi. I like your name, but a fuck are you. Dear generations with saggy pants. This is how real men wear their jeans. Again, this picture is giving me a sort of a vibe that I don't think was the intended vibe. I'd punch you, but your beard hasn't grown in yet, and I don't hit women and children. Let's be real, he would get destroyed. That guy is twice his size, especially if he said some stupid pro beard sh like that. It's not a true long distance relationship until it's daytime for one and night for the other. Uh, slash gatekeeping. I'm speaking from experience, but okay. It's not a true long distance relationship unless it's the most inconvenient for both of you. Who the hell asks for a McChicken? Go Mc yourself. It has and will always remain in my heart as the hot and spicy chicken. Are you gatekeeping a McDonald's food item? So your dog is scared of fireworks. That's cute. Mine will be searching the house for dead ducks. Oh, wow. Cool. Your dog's too stupid to know that you can't go hunting in a house. Stupid. You and your dog sound stupid. A man without a beard is not a man. Oh, God, I didn't realize this was a picture of a little baby, little baby boy. I should be making fun of a picture of it of a little baby, little baby, baby boy. If you have a home and can afford to feed yourself, you have no excuse to commit suicide, no matter how depressed you are. I've dealt with severe depression my whole life, and at the end of the day, cookies and almond milk make me happy. So no suicide for me. Oh, no suicide for me, thanks. I'll just stick to my almond milk. <laughs> this has got like a gun. Just, oh, oh. Ah, oh, you almost got me. I got cookies, I got all the book, I'm good. Get out of here, suicide. <laughs> I'll see you soon though. When these run out, I'll see you then. Women have one child and slap mother on their Twitter bio. <laughs> yeah. What? You're not a real mother unless you've pushed six of those bad boys out of you. Hey! Hear that? That's the sound of all your babies. Where? They're crying out for you. Their mother. Cause now you're a real mother and you never sleep. Only a guitarist would notice. Only a guitarist would notice. Whoa! When you drop your guitar picks all over the floor. Only guitar players would know. I miss when everything looked this motivational. Can we bring this style back? I miss this. They've now come out with a pregnancy test with a curved handle, so you don't get pee on your hand. Listen, if you're not ready to get a little pee on your hand, then you are definitely not ready for motherhood. 
Cause you're gonna get pee on your hand, you're gonna get pee in your mouth, on your face, you're gonna get shit all over the place. Not like garbage, like actual human shit is gonna be all over your house. I am miserable and dying. Real men don't hit you up late at night demanding photos of your naked body. Real men hit their desks with closed fists demanding photos of Spider-Man! L-M-A-O. Only 5% of you will get this. When you want to kill yourself because you failed the physics exam. Well guys, if you're in the 5%, leave a comment in the comments below. Like, subscribe, there is no God, hit the bell. When the teacher would put this on around Christmas time instead of doing classwork. How old are you, like early 20s? You're too young to feel nostalgic. From the second you have a memory to feel nostalgic about, you are allowed to feel nostalgic. Don't worry, guys. It's okay. One month cigarette free. Nine years, motherfucker. Congratulate yourself after two years minimum or be prepared to start the loop again. Or just, you know, Follow your own regimen, and most importantly, encourage other people. If your tree can't survive the removal of enough bark to accommodate a camera, it's a weak as The tree. Did you just gatekeep a tree? It's tree keeping? It's like beekeeping, but with trees. I've got flu. Going to the kitchen is like walking for miles. My temperature's 39. I ache everywhere and feel dreadful. Never ever felt so bad. Who else is very ill with the flu right now? What the actual f- I've been visiting my mom in hospital every day for three weeks. She has kidney failure. She would love nothing more than to be able to walk to the kitchen no matter how ill she was. Maybe if you didn't feel so sorry for yourself, you'd recover quicker. Jeez, God, you guys get a load of this guy? Friggin' ill with the flu over here. <laughs> Stop complimenting people's blue eyes. It's basically complimenting whiteness. Less than 1% of non-white people have blue eyes. No one ever says someone with brown eyes has beautiful eyes. Brown eyes are beautiful. I love mine. You realize it's not about whether or not brown eyes are beautiful. It's that blue eyes, green eyes, all those, they're rare. It's like seeing a shiny Pokemon. You're gonna call it out. I have brown eyes and no one has ever told me my eyes are beautiful. I am also very white. Not, not very white. Very, very white is what I said. Full offense, but We Will Rock You by Queen is 10,000% a gay rights anthem, and straight people don't have any rights to the song. Sorry. Hmm. I think the only people with the rights to that song are UMG. Copyright jokes. Send me your guys' playlists, and I'll rate them. Spotify. No offense, but who the f*** has Spotify in 2018? 83 million people have Spotify in 2018. Do people not use Spotify? I thought everyone was using Spotify. I only use Sp- What is this girl using? We you- We you- We you- uh, Groove Shark? We you- uh, Napster? You got LimeWire? Singing, singing like Barry White is very simple. You just kinda gotta- You take like a half swallow. Just get real congested. Oh, darling, how can I get enough of your love, baby? Oh, I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> can I get enough of your love, baby? But I never ever give you up. But I never ever gonna stop. <laughs>